Hello, sixth grade scientists. So last week, we really started our play motion unit, and we learned that Earth's outer layer is made of hard, solid rock, no matter where you are on Earth. So I'm just going to share my screen with you to remind you of the four cross sections. We um, looked at drilling sites in four different places, Arizona, the desert of Arizona, the ocean near Mexico, the Antarctic, and um, a volcano in Hawaii. And no matter where the scientists drilled, as long as they drilled far enough down, ultimately they came to hard, solid rock. So that's one really important key concept that we learned last week, is that Earth's outer layer is made of hard, solid rock. We then gathered evidence to really kind of support that thinking when we looked at the simulation on um, Thursday and Friday. And so we noticed that there's two views, the map view, where we can see the continents, we could create continents, as well as the cross section, where we would, were able to see inside of the, the earth and we could see how the plates were moving and um, that there was hard solid rock no matter where we went. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to remind us of that. So here, hard solid rock could be thinner at the ocean and thicker at the, the continents. And um, these, the neon green line really is the plate and the, where the two plates meet. And so that's what we're going to be really looking at today is looking at what happens, what, what do we see where the plates are meeting on earth. Um, and so I want you, let me go back to Nearpod. I would like you to um, think about this question first. I um, told you that we are, at the end of each lesson, we're doing a multiple choice question, and this was the end of lesson 1.3. So the question says, which statement best describes Earth's outer layer underneath the surface in the image? And let me pull it up into a full screen. And so um, we know that there's hard, solid rock both at underneath continents and under the ocean. So that's what we need to look for. So this says underneath the soil, um, Earth's outer layer is made of water, which doesn't make sense because we know that it's hard solid rock. Here it says underneath both the soil and the ocean, Earth's outer layer is made of sand and water. We also know that doesn't make sense. There are layers of sand and layers of water, but not the very underneath all of that. Um, so underneath the soil, Earth's outer layer is made of hard solid rock. Underneath the ocean, Earth's outer layer is made of sand. We also know if you drill down far enough, you will find hard solid rock both under the ocean and under the continents. And so let's just check. So, so far, none of them make sense. Underneath both the soil and the ocean, Earth's outer layer is made of hard solid rock. That is the correct answer. So when you're doing multiple choice questions, make sure you read that you know what um, the, they're asking you as well as reading every question and you can eliminate the obvious wrong answers and usually you can kind of get it between two, but sometimes like this one, it's obvious that the answer is D. So I'm gonna give you a few moments to answer these next two questions on your own, just as a review. So which picture best re represents a cross section and why? So here are the two pictures. So one of a full cake and one of a pie that's cut. So which one shows us the cross section the best and why? So you're gonna answer that. Remember you can record audio if you want. You can record your voice and then Label the diagram below by drawing lines between the words on the right and the picture that represents the, what the word means. So notice how um, there's cross section here. So I can take a marker and I can draw a line between cross section and the cross section. So you can do the same for all of the other ones. Um, and then I will see you in a little bit when you get finished. Good luck.